This is no toy. Be careful you don't cut yourself. You're so skinny. So are you. How's it feel? Do you like the balance? I think so. First lesson, sticking with the pointy end. I know which end to use. All the best swords have names, you know. Sansa can keep her own needles. I've got a needle of my own. Go on. It's yours. If you're going to own a sword, you better know how to use it. The series, the blade is not patterned well. I choose 1075 steel and 15 and 20, and they produce a very nice pattern. Ilya will cut, stack them, and weld them. We may weld the stacked material together so that as we're forge welding, they don't slide off of here. We use standard mule team borax to flux the billet. Flux is used to clean the billet and create a... We use a hand hammer to set the weld. It allows us to feel the piece and fuse into one. Working with hand hammers, sometimes it's necessary to have a second person to help you move a piece of metal faster. In this case, Sam uses his hammer to hold the billet down while Ilya folds it over. We draw out the billet on the power hammer and then round it prior to twisting. We use a pipe wrench with an extra bar welded on it so that we can twist and keep the pieces straight. Now that we've twisted the billet for needle, the Damascus pattern is going to be exposed after Matt grinds it. You should look like a series of stars or diamonds along the sides. We've noticed that the sword is actually made up of a group of parts from 18th century small swords. We've... I got a little bit more tapering and some more shaping to be done on this. Don't want to do too much before heat treating. So at this point I'm ready to go hand it off to the guys outside for heat treat. So what we're getting ready to do is we're going to normalize the needle blade. Uh, the reason we're going to normalize it is because it's made from twist Damascus, so it has a lot of energy in that blade wanting it to twist. So we're going to do this normalizing cycle two or three times to relieve the stress. Each heat I'm going to remove it, go to the anvil with a wood hammer, and just slightly tap it to get it straight before letting it cool slowly. We place the blade back into the forge and heat it up to critical temperature and quench it in oil for hardening. After quench, I have a little bit of time to play with this blade to get it straight before the crystals get fully formed. 